Hey, hey, uh, hello again. Uh, today we're going to have a new video uh, and I hope this video is going to be a little bit more exciting than the previous one and mostly because this video is going to have a lot of Atlas. Um, Atlas is our new dog. Um, technically, he's not new because we got him uh, as a puppy last year and he's still not a dog. He's still a puppy. He's about 10, 11 months old uh, when I was shooting the video. But he was uh, helping me um, change in the oil in my Cobra. But before I jump to that, I wanted to show you a sneak peek of something that was parked in uh, our barn for a couple of weeks. Uh, a friend of mine actually asked uh, me to store uh, his another type of Shelby in, uh, in the barn uh, for a couple of weeks. Um, and I shot just a couple of uh, shots of that car. Uh, Shelby GT500, uh, all original, as you GT five hundred, all original. As you can see, unrestored. Uh, it is kind of a barn find, but not really. But I always dream about doing the barn find <laughs> when uh, I find like a hundred of cars dusted and ready to be restored. Too bad the car is gone now, but oh, it is what it is. In any case, this video uh, I shot what I was doing when I was uh, changing the oil probably would take me half an hour uh, instead of almost an hour because I still had to entertain the dog. Uh, but yeah, just every year after a couple of thousand miles, I try to uh, change the oil, change the filter, uh, start the car, hopefully like it starts. Um, and basically that's it. You can see the essentially insights of the process. Um, let's go and watch this. Okay, I'm gonna be changing oil today in the Cobra. Um, and uh, Atlas is going to be assisting me mostly by pushing his ball under the BMW. So now every time I, he does that, I have to get it out somehow. And uh, this is what this asshole puppy does. But also he's a like, super cute puppy that I cannot just be mad at him. Get away from here. Oh. Okay. He might actually think that this is a game for him. Oh yeah, he also does that. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, I also need a light. Just in case. He really wants to play ball. We actually played like a couple of hours of ball today, probably. Oh, what? Doesn't stop him from demanding more. And he's just gonna be following me like this and just doing those stupid sounds. Okay, I need my light. This should be enough. Okay. <clears throat> Walls. Just in case, I'll let my hands clean. Okie dokie. So, like I said, then you're going to be changing oil. 
in my Cobra. Uh, so we're actually going to be ready for the season. This is my logbook. I'm going to put that there. This is the filter. This is obviously the engine. New oil, as I've learned after we got the engine, goes in here. The old oil <coughs> about there. Um, so yeah, um, let me take a look down there. What's happening? Let's see. Um, so yeah, this is my reservoir for oil. Should be enough to catch it. So all I need to do is to disconnect, like remove that nut bolt. I don't know. You did it again, right? With this stupid dog. Okay. Where is? Where is it? First bolt tends to stop exactly in the middle of the car, so. I cannot get it. I wonder if he finds it there. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Okay, um, so I don't know the size of that. Um, I'm use the adjustable wrench. And um, I changed the oil last time, last year, and since last year, I only did like uh, probably 12, 1300 miles, but obviously, like, so technically I wasn't, there is no immediate need to replace oil again, to change oil again, but <coughs> I wonder what happened here? Okay, should probably get. Oh, actually, it came off. Okay, shouldn't have been that hard. But okay, what? Atlas, as you can tell, is a German Shepherd puppy. He's a little bit more than nine months old. He is very, very active. He is, uh, what they say, uh, what they call um, working line German Shepherd, uh, which means he like to do stuff continuously. He just can't be inactive. Okay, so this is my oil. It's not terrible. I don't know. Looks. I don't know actually. To be honest, I have no idea what the proper oil should look like. It's liquid enough for it, so it's not like cloudy or anything. And like I said, it's only like this travel 1300 miles on it. It should be good. Uh, I hope. Probably you see it sideways. Because my head is sideways. <coughs> uh, so yeah, Atlas. Yes, we got him last year in August uh, when we moved in to the new house. Uh, we got him as a two month old puppy because we have cats um, and we didn't know how the uh, adopted German Shepherd would react to cats. So, yeah, you can tell he really wants to play. Would you shut up already? No, he didn't. But also, he just had dinner. So he cannot run, otherwise we can run into the stomach boat, which is a very bad condition for German Shepherds and other large, like deep chested dogs. So I had to suffer here with him demanding to play while my oil is still... Okay, let's do that while it's beginning. What do you want? You want to play, huh? Also, German Shepherd um, Atlas is a German Shepherd which is trained in Ukrainian language. So if I tell him to lay down as Lejate, this is what he's gonna do. Molodets. 
such a good boy. Yes, good boy, good boy. No, it's for you. It's for you. Ah, he's such an annoying animal. No, okay. I know it. Probably you expected me to do more car stuff. Instead, I'm playing here with the dog. Uh, but yeah, this is this is this is my life now. I have to spend much of time with the puppy to train him, to teach him stuff, and uh, my wife already is a bit unhappy about this. She complained that I spent too much time with the dog, but she also loves Atlas, so I think it just evens out. Okay, that's it. Stop. Okay, what we have here, we have a little bit of oil still coming out. Uh, but other than that, it's actually quite a bit of oil, so should be good. Uh, yep, um, so the engine takes seven quarts. It's, um, it's a 347, um, 302 block uh, board to 347. Uh, it's supposed to take seven quarts. Um, I also have uh, oil, oil radiator. Uh, which adds like a extra half a quart. Um, so this is, I believe, five five quarts. So this is some remains from the last year. I'm not going to use that. Um, so I'm going to have five and two and a half from here, and we should be done. Uh, oh, actually, wait. Before that, once oil is done. I still have to replace the filter, um, but that should be easy, right? I need some sort of wrench to do this. Atlas, Rosati. Okay, he can do that, but he still wants to play, and I'm like, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, I can take him back to his room, but uh, he's not gonna like it. So, visate, chikate, chikate. Um, I told him to wait here. Chikate. Um, I think I have a, like a maybe this one is the right for. Um, maybe I had something else. I don't remember. Um, but okay. Well, in any case, uh, I'm gonna use this. Yeah, I don't think I have any extra like screw big wrenches. But this gotta be it. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. You lost your ball, right? Okay, oh well. You have to suffer now. Okay, so the oil is still dripping. I'm gonna keep it dripping for a couple more minutes. Um, until it actually stops dripping, I think, and then I'm gonna close that, and I'm gonna start uh, work on the filter. For best results, like for convenience, I should have actually taken off wheels because it makes it easier to get into those parts of the engine. Uh, but oopsie, it was the wheel touching the camera probably. Um, but yeah, um, well, uh, I actually forgot about that, so I left the car, um, and I did some cleanup underneath, just wiping the extra grease, and I'll probably talk about that later, uh, but anyway, um, yeah, so that's why I have the wheels on, if I knew, like, expected that I'm going to be changing oil, um, I would probably take them off, um, this makes it a little bit easier to get there. Um, and actually, I just, I didn't plan to change oil. Um, I just decided, like, last minute, essentially, okay. Yeah, it's uh, only 1,300 miles, 12, 1,300 miles, but it's already been a year. Uh, who knows, like, what kind of contamination there might have been there. Um, so I decided to, to change it. Would you just shut up already? Such a good boy. And I Atlas. 
he's in very playful mood right now. But uh, I'm not. I wanna finish the oil change and then go and I don't know, maybe watch something on TV or I don't know, finish the Last of Us game. <clears throat> okay, so we're almost done here. A little bit more dripping. Yeah, it's very significant. Uh, and the car is a little bit, yeah, due to the floor uh, being in, on incline, so a little bit of slope, so should be coming out pretty good, like almost all oil should come out. Um, don't go in here. So yeah, this is, I don't know, if you probably see it upwards, but this is how I see it, actually, so it's very super realistic impression of what I'm doing here because this is the filter that I will have to take out um, I assume with that super mega wrench that I had um, then swapped it for a new one uh, and be done with it actually yes yeah, so I last last night I cleaned up all the stuff like except here this is places that I left too much grease last year and uh, Obviously, well, it's greased pretty well, so there's no need to do that again. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's wait until oil st stops dripping. <laughs> okay, at last, come here, bro. Oh, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. See you Hey, at last, see you there. I told, told him to sit. Good boy. No, good boy. And, uh, yeah, German Shepherds are very, very disgusting animals. Like, you have saliva, like, everywhere. You have water dripping through of his mouth. And they are called German Shepherds because they shed all the time. And it takes so much time to keep them entertained. So, uh, I actually, I am seriously considering getting another one just so they can entertain each other instead of just constantly doing this ball thing with me he loves balls and he loves searching for balls uh, oopsie that's it you're done okay almost almost not dripping where is my uh super wrench where did i put it huh? That's the problem. Ah, there it is. There it is. Because when, when you're doing stuff with a dog, it's just constantly distracting. Oh, that's it. It's stuck under the BMW. Awesome. BMW, by the way, uh, is a great dog vehicle. Um, during just a put Atlas in the back. Like a, it's a wagon, by the way, yeah, so I didn't probably, you might have noticed that, it didn't. So it's something like this, this is supposed to be something like this. Uh, once we done with this, I'm gonna, yeah, finish that. Okay. There's done some sort of spacer there. Okay, so he cannot get the ball. I have to get it for him. Fun, huh? Very exciting process. When you have a dog, everything takes a lot more time. Okay. Yeah, because you have to keep the dog entertained. Oh, the other thing I realized is I need to make a, like a sort of a funnel to put the oil in here. I need an empty bottle for this. So I'm gonna probably, I don't know, do I have an empty bottle here? Nope. Uh, I have an empty bottle in, in the car. Nope. I think I have it in here. Nope. Come on. I can probably make a funnel out of this. So some of the 
distilled water that I use for uh, radiator refill, uh, mix of orange stuff with the distilled water. By the way, did you know that the, there is a the crisis with the distilled water? Like I went to Home Depot and wanted to buy it there and they're like, oh, we haven't had distilled water for four months now. It's like shortage of distilled water. Like, man, what the hell are you talking about? Then I went uh, online and Googled that and like, yeah, there was a problem with distilled water. But now it's like, it's not really, I went to uh, Whole Foods and I got this, so yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. I'd love Lejate. Okay, this should take him like maybe two, three minutes. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. I need a bottle. Also, this distilled water is disgusting. <sighs> no. I do have a. Right, because I don't have a key. Crap. Okay, I'll go bottle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should get it funnel. No, I actually had a funnel somewhere. Uh, I just I don't have it right now. I don't know where it is. Um, and yeah, by the way, the funnel that I had was like for small engines. It takes only a quarter of oil full. This case, yeah, a little bit bigger. I need a bigger bottle. Yeah, what, what did you say? Come on. In the, in the Jaws movie, you're gonna need a bigger bottle. That's what they said, right? As you can tell, I'm not really well prepared for the oil change. One of the reasons for that is because we moved last year in August, and even though we unpacked boxes, I probably did a lot of unpacking like too fast so I don't know where some of the stuff is uh, see how some of the in the basement some of it in the in the shed so yeah it's uh, some of it I don't know maybe something here in the garage uh, I don't know that Oh, good boy. He's such a good boy. Oh, yes. Okay. I think I have final now. Thank you, Vintage Zelter, for providing such a great thing for... Uh, oh, I mean, let's hope it works. I think I've done this before with this specific type of funnel. Uh, I'm gonna see. Okay. Uh, so by this time, it should have stopped dripping. Let's let's check it out. Good boy, Okay, so it's slightly like a little bit of drip, 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 drip. I don't know. It's probably not gonna be. Atlas lejate. See, only like. Has patience for three minutes to wait for what I told him to do, and then he's like, he's done. He doesn't want it to do anymore. Um, okay, so should I let it drip maybe for a couple more minutes? It's dripping. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> I can talk a little bit more about German Shepherds. I always wanted to have one. I, I had one when I was like a super small child, I don't know, baby, child. I was probably like three, four years old. I vaguely remember uh, a German Shepherd in our family. Um, and then Rajate, he had all kinds of dogs. It's not German Shepherds and obviously like my parents had the, those dogs, not me. Boop, 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 boop. Um, so once we moved into the house with a little bigger property, 
uh, bigger backyard, I decided that I want to get the German Shepherd. So yeah, and this was my birthday present. My wife gave me a puppy for a birthday present. Uh, it's like, if you remember American movies, it's always small children getting puppy, getting a puppy as a present. And uh, yeah, that was me, 45 years old, and uh, getting a puppy as a present. And uh, yeah, that puppy was probably this big. Um, probably, I don't know, 10, 12 pounds. Now, this thing, this, this animal, he was at the vet. Uh, doctor yesterday um, and uh, he was 81 and a half pounds. Lejate. Good boy, good boy. Lejate. He really wants to play with the ball. No, no more. Lejate. Crap. It's gonna hopefully just get stuck under the cobra. Lejate. Good boy. Lejate, lejate, lejate. Um, so yeah, Poppy grew up a little bit into this very, very, very annoying, smelly, disgusting, beautiful dog. Yes, okay, let's go. Uh, I think we're gonna just stop the drip, whatever it is, there it is. Um, okay, look. Let's take the nut. And, uh, oh, it's magnetic stuff. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna just clear. Oopsie. It's not that easy, huh? Yeah, it just keeps sticking to stuff because of the magnet. Okay. So, um, to be honest, I'm not sure if that thing has to have a to work so uh, we're just gonna like, do okay yeah I'm not gonna like super tight just tight okay now the fun part because uh, filter is always a fun part because it's so hard to actually catch it I'm just gonna use rugs on the knees. I'm going to keep this close. So I'll put the filter in there. Rugs are going to just catch as much oil as we can. And uh, let's try and uh, get rid of the filter. I wonder should be doing it from the other side. <sighs> so this thing is actually a thermal regulator. Uh, when the oil reaches a cer certain temperature, it opens uh, and sends uh, oil to the oil cooler. Um, it's, um, let's just say that for cases like mine, where the car hasn't been on the track yet, though I really want to. It's, the oil cooler is not necessary. Um, okay, so which way do I do this? Yeah, it's not gonna be pretty and easy here. And as you can tell, dog has no respect for whatever I'm doing. So it's just going to be doing its thing while so I'm trying to put um, the oil filter in here. Okay, I think I got it. Now we're going to try and move it. Yep, it's coming, coming, coming. Okay. Yeah. Wait. I might, no, actually, wait. I'm undoing this, right? 
I know it's like always upside down stuff is very very confusing okay I think I'm doing the right stuff I push it hopefully okay okay it's gonna be better now Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. It's coming out, little by little. Like, I feel like it was easier last time. At last, we show head. Like, can you see that stupid annoying dog? I move the light a little bit. I moved the camera a little bit, hopefully. Yeah, I think someone's gonna go to his room soon. Okay, so it's almost done, I think. Probably. Так, Atlas! I just gonna get rid of the ball. Bejate! Strike. So the ball goes outside. No matter. Who's that? Yes. Okay. Um, so my camera said that it's too hot. I should have probably haven't recorded that in 4K ultra wide, whatever the GoPro settings are. Um, so yeah, I switched to just full HD. So if you suddenly see like a super low quality thing because you have, I don't know, 80 inches display TV that you're watching this on, well, that's too bad. Um, okay, I'm just gonna move this a little bit. So once the oil starts dripping from a filter, I'm actually I don't know what I can do actually to be honest probably the best I can do is just drop the filter in here there's just gonna be rugs and then I immediately should put the new filter back on okay so it's almost out I should probably hide my Apple watch okay yeah, I was a little bit too optimistic. How far? Okay. Okay, now I think it's almost out. So it's just gonna be this. Yeah, there's gonna be some oil coming out. So I'll just put this here. Then like this. Uh, oh well, there's not much I can do about it, right? Opa. Okay, so we have oil. Now at least I know where it's coming. So let me doing that. Okay, I might need another rug. <coughs> Just in case. Good boy, good boy. Some extra like dirty things here. Ah, ba -ba -ba -bum. There is... Yeah, this will do. This one. Whatever. Okay. <sighs> That's the problem with the doing the oil change once a year. It's like you actually forget how to do it in a way. Okay. And uh there's plenty of oil actually. Why do I like Let's see there it is. There it is. Okay, that's my filter, old filter, 
there's something dripping. Not a lot of oil. Just a normal amount of oil. And then we have a new filter in. Oil should just stop dripping. Just this. I'll clean up whatever might be there. And now I'll have to uh, clean up a little bit here. And then we'll do it. Now I have to tighten the filter a little bit. Is it oil? Yep, it's oil. That's mine. Okay. Okay, let's hand tight. Okay. Okay. So normally I would have a little bit more light in here because I have a light that is uh, like a headlight on my head. Mm, headlight. Yeah. But uh, since I have a camera on my head right now, I'm not doing that. Okay. So I do this. So I have to like get in there, from there. No, I don't know why I did that. And then just have to make sure that I'm not deforming the filter. No. In the filter. Probably this is not the right wrench that I'm using for this. I feel like there was something else. Well, I'm not sure now. I'm just gonna use what I have and it works right now. Okay. I think. I think filter is almost there. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> See. Okay. Okay, I think I'm done with that. If I see anything like, uh, any drips in the future. Yeah, no, I don't any like dark thing supposed to be in there Let's try a little bit more yes it says four turns and then one I think that's what I did okay okay so we are done with the oil drain filter replacement now the only thing that is left is just to put some fresh oil in. Uh, this is going to be even more fun. Yeah. Who's the good boy? <gasps> Such a good boy. Yes, Atlas, good boy. <gasps> good boy. Really, really good boy. He's such a well trained dog. Uh, obviously, I think that's. Uh, my achievement, but also he went to a trainer for a couple weeks, like a training boot camp, obedience, whatever, whatnot. So that definitely helped him. Okay, so I think that's it. This is good. Actually, I realized that I probably should turn this upside down, filter upside down, so oil goes from a filter. To the collector. Okay, now seven quarts of oil. Here we have four and a half, five quarts, quarts, five quarts. So let's just start. Start. Okay, let me. Just in case, because I am usually very, very clumsy with this. Put some rug in here. Eight p.m. And 
and uh, off we go with the fresh oil yeah now that I'm looking at the fresh oil I realized that it was a very very good idea to change it um, the problem probably is because it's a uh, still like a new engine so even with 1300 miles there's a lot of I guess stuff happening oh yeah I forgot to mention that I have these stupid motion activated lights in my garage wow what a sound that's what I that's what I have rock for um, and since I'm holding still just pouring oil what is your sound let me see what's happening on their knees okay so it went straight into the bottom okay it's good it's good so yeah motion activated lights and if I'm still like right now pouring oil then obviously uh, 30 seconds or whatever time out and it just turns off the problem is that is the, those lights are like super super sensitive uh, so what happens is that if you have a bug outside the window um, then it may just react to that bug and uh, turn turn on the light um, okay so I don't need this right now so I'm gonna insert it here and I'm gonna pour two and a half <clears throat> so those leaders these are quartz okay two and a half quartz into this <clears throat> And that's gonna be my seven and a half quarts. So I'm actually on the other side. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm watching, watching. Okay, I'm seeing the level. One quart. One and a half, two, two and a half. This should be good. Okay. Good, good, good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, and uh, so this super technical funnel goes into the engine and then two and a half extra quarts. Yeah, the problem is like in ideal case I would have to drain oil from uh from the oil cooler as well. Uh but just yeah that's not gonna happen. Just gonna leave it as is and uh, yeah, be done with it. Cause I don't think it opened ever last year. So the oil there, it's probably not a good oil, but um, it's gonna be, that will do it for now. Okay, awesome. So, I have replaced the filter, I have changed oil, uh, I cleaned up the bottom of the car, made sure that there's nothing like major leaks and stuff, so I think I'm done, yay, okay, so I'm just gonna lower the car, run the engine, We'll see what happens, if it blows up or not. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Uh, so I'll get back to you after I'm done with that. 
see ya. So the car is down, lowered. Good. I didn't close the hood yet because there's a very important thing with the maintenance. There's a little bit of brake fluid in there. Just not sure what it is like exactly. Just the membrane under the cover which sometimes if you have too much like a little bit more than needed of a uh, brake fluid might might come out um pa -pa 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 -pum. so let's protect the fender um so i added the oil close this i text the filter i close the drain so this should be good to go. So let me put it here. Uh, Atlas. Change. Mm. Oh. Filter. Come on. Filter. Change. Um, just gonna put mileage at and I'm gonna see that number soon but for now I'm just gonna try and uh, start the car and see what happens Atlas Lejate it's a little bit tricky because I want to start car here because if it doesn't start outside I don't want to push it back inside uh, but I don't want to scare the dog either so I'm gonna put him in here Atlas the man Good boy, good boy. Lejate. 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 Okay. Let's uh, try this. I don't know, just in case. <laughs> uh, Thing. Okay, first start after the oil change. We'll see what happens. Battery might be actually down, so. Okay, um, and let me do this. So, fuel pump is okay. Uh, let me pump a little bit of gas. Uh, let's see what happens.
um, last year I put about thousand and a